amazing kid and uh, you all might know right now that I have shifted into Pune. But have I ever told you that I am in a new school now? It is Arise International School and I am in 4A in that school. So um, today we are going to do a project that my school asked and uh, I thought why not to make a video of it. Um, so this project is about seed germination. Um, this is what my science man told me to do, aka Sablaka ma'am. And um, I'm going to show you to John now. Now um, may the project begin. And um, day one, which is today, this is my seed jar. I put some moon dal seeds in the bottom of this and submerged it completely with water. And ma'am said that there should be no soil in this process. And um, I see. I think there is no change to this except uh, it has puffed out a bit. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to uh, show you what other change has happened to this. Okay, investigation date, day two. This is my seed jar now. Now uh, you can see that some of them has been has turned white, and almost all of them has grown spores. But we shouldn't do this now. We should do something else now. So stay tuned with me. I'll show you what we need to do. Alright. Now I'm going to show you what you're going to have to do. First, you need your seeds and remove them out of the jar without any water. And I need to show you something cool. Oh, wait. Um, that one broke. Just wait for a second. There. Seeds like these have grown their spores and it broke out of the seed leaf. Okay, next what you're gonna have to need is some water and you're going to need this. Actually, uh, I didn't find a, a jar in the house, another jar to keep these. So, um, I just found this and um, I like it because it um, you can see it more clearly in this. Okay, I'm done with my sprinkling work and it should be moist enough that the tissue paper won't fall off. But, please be warned, do not put too much water, otherwise it will tear off. So, this goes tomorrow but before we go there is one more important thing we should do sprinkle it a bit more from the top okay and now we should cover it a bit like that so that uh, whenever this dries off the water falls into the seeds we are good to go. This is day 3 of the germination process. I am out in the terrace and I finished giving my plants some sunlight. And it has grown a lot. Look at all of these pores right here. And uh, I am sure that uh, tomorrow the cotyledons, also known as the seed leaf, will start growing. But remember, for these to grow, like very nicely and get a good sprout shape you have to always sprinkle some water on top of the tissue paper to make it moist so see you the next day this is day four and um, it's gradually glow growing the cotyledon and stuff look at that wait let me show one thing Oh wait, this one has, this one already has its cotyledon. If you can see on the top, like focus on the top, you can see a small leaf there. The cotyledons are growing, we are making good progress. This is day five. I am literally mind blown by seeing this. There is so much roots in here and you can even see some plants have grown the seed leaf already. Now, I brought some out. Let's observe it. 
Now do you see a disc seed right over here? The root which is also known as the radical it's almost fully grown and this is the seed leaf. The seed leaf has something called the cotyledon which is also known as the seed coat. This right over here the black part is the cotyledon and this is the seed leaf. You see the top part? That's the embryo's leaves. Now, uh, some of my seeds have already, uh, have almost became uh, fully developed. This thing has an extremely long radical. The embryo seeds, uh, no, I mean the embryo's leaves are very obvious. And uh, I don't know what happened to the seed. I guess the minerals got finished in this. <laughs> So, see you in the next day. Day 6. So, this is a seed from the uh, third day, as you can see here. And this is what happened at the sixth day. Now, it is a fully fledged sprout. Alright, guys, day 7. Now, our plants have grown into a sprout, literally, right now. And um, I'll show you a good one. Look at this. Now let's observe. You see these? You see these parts? Never mind the tissue. You see these, right? These are actually used for collecting nutrients. So this is the radical which holds all of the sprouts that uh, are used for collecting nutrients. This is the seed leaf it's going to die after some time and the embryo will only be there and now the baby plant sleeps how come i'm going to end the project from here if you need to get an idea about seed germination this project is the best thing you can do uh, i'm going to continue by putting these sprouts in uh, in soil and let the magic happen